on today's app. Now Chloe's hungry. She goes, let's run into Big Famous. Let's get a little snack. Get a little snack. I'm really hungry. There's a sign on the door that says closed. Until further notice. Because it has not past health and mental hygiene. But like, what is they doing mental hygiene? Like, what is mental hygiene? Not scrolling? <laughs> You're scrolling too much in Big Famous. Public health guidelines tell us that we need to do small tasks daily to maintain our physical and dental hygiene. So if you don't do those little tasks, they shut down your deli? <laughs> if you're not in therapy, you can't have a deli. Your mental health is not up to go. Your literal deli license will be taken. Will be closed until further notice until, until you, you figure start out brushing. what's going on with you. <laughs> Check in with you. Brush your brain. <laughs> hey guys, this is Liddy and Shitty in, in the, the Big Bad City. A podcast by New Yorkers for everyone. I'm Chloe. I'm M, and that's all you need to know. Let's get started. Hey guys! It's Lydia and Shitty in the Big Bad City. It we don't is. do that anymore, but we should. We don't do that anymore. I just, I am so, we walked into the room to record and there was like leftover food on the table and a bunch of Diet Cokes and water bottles, which like, I wonder what the cutoff is. We don't know when the food got there. Wait, but let's be, let's make be <laughs> clear. The food was veggie sushi. Well, so there's a bunch of boxes of sushi sitting on the table and a ton of little Diet Coke mini bottles. If you're watching, you could see right here. And um, if you're not watching, you can picture a mini Diet Coke. You can picture a little bottle of Diet Coke. And we were like, should we eat it? Chloe got really scared that someone was going to like yell at us and it was someone's food. And I went, if it's sitting here and we have the room. I was like, free food. And I'm like, no. (laughs) Well, you were too, eventually. Yeah, but I'm like, yeah. I like asked her to hide some under the table for me to take home. Yeah, we hid some under the table for later. She didn't want it. But I was wondering, I was like, when is it it not okay? But here's me, man. I see free food. I gobble that shit down. Yeah, gobble down and spit up. You were like, are you sure we're not going to get in trouble? I was like, what? But also like- Half the roll down my mouth. Well, when I say like get in trouble, like from who? That's what I was sort of wondering. (laughs) I was like- Who's going to come in and yell at us? And if they do, there's five other boxes of sushi. So, oh my God, I mean, we didn't realize we were hungry. I will always, we're like, we, we couldn't see, we were hungry. We were hungry. I um will never not think that there, uh, wait, I will always think that an adult mm-hmm. is like going to tell me what to do. Yeah. So I'm always like, I just don't want to get in trouble, which is funny because I'm also like a little bit of a <laughs> rule breaker. Yeah, you are. Would you, know, you say? Uh, sometimes, but you get so anxious about the rules. <laughs> like, I'm and actually, then you break them anyway. I'm so I'm like, why the anxiety? I'm so scared. I'm Look s- at you. You're curled up I'm, in a little ball, you. I'm curled up in a little ball because I was so nervous. But let me tell you, we ate it. We ate, I ate it. We ate it. Chloe ate it. And we hid some for later from the guy who came in to pick them up anyway. Yeah, I was like, and, just these. Yeah. And we broke into the Diet Coke. I was going to say, I in London got on my fucking Diet Coke game, man. Yeah, man. I feel like in the UK, you really get in that, man. Well, it was actually because- and What I about a Coke Zero? Uh, mm, no. But what's the real difference? The difference is how many places are going to have that versus how who's going to have Diet Coke? Everyone. When I went to Spain once, they were like only pushing Coca-Cola Zero. Your leg is shaking. Sorry. Are you okay? No one's going to yell at us about the food. I know. It's we ate it. It's, it's in our bellies. Stomach. We threw the rest out. You're right. It's over. You're right. And guess what? We're going to go to dinner after this and come all over noodles because <laughs> it's going to be so good. No. Sorry. So, so ha- I went to London and I had all the side coke. You wanted a Y man. Why? I think I was, might have been inspired by you. I was like sober the whole trip. Yeah, man. I you do you do find vices in your sobriety. Diet Coke. You reach for it. Diet Coke. I'm really into right now Shirley Temples. Mmm, that sounds good. What is that like Sprite and cherry juice? Yeah, it's so good. I love those. But I made the mistake of ordering a virgin Shirley Temple and they laughed in my face the first time because they're like I remember I was with you. No, you weren't. Outside in Soho after no. my bridal appointment? No. She was like <laughs> whoa, 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 what the non version be? <laughs> And wait, we were like, all that, right, we'll go to another restaurant. Wait, that's happened to me more than once. Yeah. The waiter, like be, uh, having a bad day and being like, what the fuck? When? After that bridal appointment with Ryan Beggs and Asha. Oh, well, so that was at Finale's and they all want us dead there. Finale's? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They want everyone dead there unless you're like s- 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 
<laughs> Finelli's in Soho canceled. If they're putting, if you are smoking and you put smoke in their face and you're just like grungy, they're like anything you, can you stay. want. Yeah. But if you're like kind and ask for a virgin Shirley Temple, huh, huh, fuck yourself. We'll yeah. come on your noodles. Yeah, we'll come all over your noodles. Mm, noodles are so cummy. Ew, anyway, I'm not having noodles tonight. I might, I might still have them. Ew. Well, that's not why. I'm just not into them mm. right now. Sorry, I had sex twice last night. Can you tell? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why everything is just come to me. That's Listen, man, the FOMO. Diet Coke thing. FOMO. FOMO. <laughs> the Diet Coke thing. Uh, I didn't mean to be sober. You are you still sober? Yep. Wow. So how long has it been for you? Like two and a half months. Wow. Good for you, man. Thanks, man. How many times it like have you doubles said- every week when I see you. You're I like, change it every three time. Three weeks. It's been six weeks. It's been actually, seven months. I actually said once, it's been one month. And Ollie said, I think it's been more like three months. And I was like, taking that yeah. and running. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's been four years. Yeah. So I was, I think it's like probably what has to do with wedding too, because I'm really in my fitness, as yeah. are you. We're like really in So this- we like to drink chemicals instead. Than poison. Right. Chemicals well, over poison any day. Over every, every day. So I was in London. The first night we got there, we had a Guinness at a pub and, or like a drink. Split the Guinness. You know that game? No. Okay. Let me just get through this because I'm, I'm I'm already over it. I'm so over it. But let me just say. because Say it. Means, so <laughs> I have a beer at this pub and it was really fun. And then it was still light out. And I was walking. We were like going back to our Airbnb to like shower and actually go out for the night for like yeah. dinner and stuff. And I was like, I felt like kind of drunk and we had our first show the next night. And I was like, I don't want to be hung over tomorrow. So I just had mocktails that night. And then I went, Hey, I wonder if I could keep this up the whole trip and still have a good time. So I sort of did it as a test. I was like, let me see if I can enjoy myself being sober this whole trip. I had tea of my L. Tea of your L. Time of her life for the, those of you who don't understand, Emily. Wait, that's epic. But can I also just say this really quick? Yeah. Everyone who I'm seeing and everyone's like very much like, that's amazing. Like, how do you feel? And I feel great. And it's amazing. But by no means that, um, am I like doing this for a certain amount of time, nor no. am I doing this like I'm not like taking two months off. Like I'm just doing it for, as I feel. So when I return to alcohol, I don't want it to be like everyone being like, oh. I know that's what happened, the thing about if it. If I wanted alcohol, I'd have alcohol, but yeah. I'm in this time as well where like, I couldn't imagine myself drinking right now. That doesn't mean I never will again, but I just, the, the idea of alcohol just sounds y- yucky tasting. Agree. So I don't want it, but I don't want it to be a thing of like, I'm trying out sobriety for like a couple months. Like I'm not doing that. I know it needs to be a non-binary. Yeah. Like I'm just doing of, like, like don't put a label in it. It's a spectrum of yeah. sorts. I mean, cause I already go, no way I go to an SNL after party sober. So I know I'll drink at one of those, but like yeah, when, but you when I don't like, want to, I don't, want you don't to. have to even say that because like I went to the wedding dead sober. Right. I mean, what party starting at 1am is kind of hard, but like, that's the thing is like, I'm not opposed to drinking, but it's more just like, Feeling I'm now realizing I don't have to do it every time that I'm somewhere that there's alcohol and I can still have fun. Yeah. I Next. Do, um, here's what I was going to ask you. Did you see the new, um, quiet on set Nickelodeon documentary? I did. Do you want to talk about it or not really? Um, not really. Okay. <laughs> what do you have something to say? You haven't even seen it. I haven't seen the whole thing. You got to watch it. Then we can talk about it. Okay. Because I've watched it. Okay. And it's sad. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. I wanted to tell you something. <laughs> if you want to talk about it, I'm down. I know. It seems like you want to <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> tell me what you want to say and then well, I'll tell you I if just, I want to keep talking about it. I just it. want to think, no, what did, did you think any of it was weird while we were growing up on Nickelodeon? No, because I was more of a Disney Channel kid. So I'm way more of a Disney Channel kid growing up. Kind of like what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> hit me, hit me, hit me. I'm actually a Disney Channel kid, unlike Emily. And <laughs> I also grew up with Disney Channel. <laughs> Hannah, Zach, Cody. <laughs> yeah. N- little bit of Jesse. But no, we were Jessie. aging out by then. <laughs> no, but here's Debbie what I was going to say. Debbie God Ryan. bless her. Oh. Oh, Lord bless her. What, Wait. Bless her heart. Bless her, bless her Isn't heart. Isn't that like the Southern way of saying like- My grandma always used to say that like, oh, fucking fuck Like you. what a loser. Bless her heart. So my mom didn't like me watching Nickelodeon because she thought it was inappropriate. So I wasn't Funny. allowed to watch Nickelodeon because it was inappropriate. And then whenever I would watch iCarly, which we were also a little bit aging out of that. Mm-hmm. But whenever I turned it on, it made me like really uncomfortable. Like it was like, 
it was like dirty jokes. Yeah. And like, you'd probably like them. Hey, I do like dirty jokes. But I didn't like it. And I was like, Nickelodeon is for dirty Mm -hmm. girls. Let me see your nails. Natural. Yeah. That's like the color I want for my wedding. Yeah. It's like a light pink. One shade bubble bath. One shade ballet slipper. Oh, did you do them yourself? No. They look good. Thanks. I'm you're trying really to go- tapping your leg. Are you nervous? No, you're like making me upset. Why? <laughs> Let's get into it. Why? <laughs> like, I, I always tap. But <sighs> no one's going to yell at us about sushi. <laughs> <laughs> the sushi's gone. I know, man. I just have so much to say. Like, the Nick stuff. Well, you didn't watch a documentary, so. All right. How about this? You ever see those shows when you're little and the kids' rooms were like angled bedrooms? <laughs> what shows the roof, the roof was angled like when raven moved upstairs oh yeah it was like the attic yeah like the yeah. attic all i want in my life is to have like an, an angled bedroom yeah you think that and then you do but how sick listen, man, I, live in a little, I live in a little loft no, but i want to be able to stand up i have to be able to stand up you're not gonna be able to stand up in an angled room it's like i say one thing i'm and you just hate it no and the world's over the world is ending. We have to get on board with that. And I'm guess not. what? I finally picked up the book, Capitalist Realism. Again? No, that was, I was in the TikTok hole and they were talking about the book. Hi. And now I'm reading the actual book that the TikToks are referencing. Boy, oh boy, is it depressing. Here's what I have to say to you, Em. What? I watched this very interesting what? documentary. Oh, did you? Call Quiet on set? On TikTok. Uh, okay. 30 second video. And they were saying, okay, so maybe we know the world's ending. And shit's getting really bad, but you always can make decisions. Like if there are two really bad decisions, let's just say you can always choose one that's less bad. Yeah. One that strikes a tiny bit more joy. And when people come to this podcast and want to listen to a little bit more joy, they don't want to hear about the world ending. No, but Chloe, don't you think that there's some comfort? Do you agree? I do, but I don't think that what I'm saying is negative. I think it's like- Realistic. Hey, we're all in this world that's ending. Let's at least be honest about it and find comfort in each other feeling the same way. I don't even think about the world ending any ever day, ever days. Really? I really don't. I think about it a lot. I go, God, I'm caring so much about this wedding and yet- it's interesting. I care. I've been really caring about just like getting through one day at a time. Yeah. And that's, listen, I don't think about it all the time, but like the Roman empire is the world ending. Yeah. Like, I guess like with the election year and everything too, I'm just like, Oh Lord. It's and so, AI and yeah. they say we'll be having sex with robots soon. And oh, like, thank God. All that. <laughs> I mean, if, if you call a vibrator something else, Oh, it's wait. a robot, a vibrator. Oh. If we're not already doing that with our vibrators, folks, is this on? Can you hear me? We can hear you. I'm come back. Can I talk about London? Sure. Okay. To not talk about the world ending. So I just came back from London, but by the time you're, okay. And um, the shows were so fun. Okay. I opened for Please Don't Destroy my did, fancy did sketch you, group. Do they love you? Yeah. They were great. Of course they did. I mean, I was, here's the thing. I was like running my material that I ran last summer from my show. So it was like. There was some part of it, if I'm being vulnerable and honest here, there was some part of it for me that was like, I know this works, so it would have been a little more thrilling to try new material there. Yeah. But it was sort of like, if I'm going to be exposed to like over 2,500 people, why would I not do my stuff that crushes? And did you tell every single one of them they have a podcast? Excuse me. Um, no. Why? Because I'm opening for someone else. I don't go, and thank you, listen to my podcast. Wait, that seems so fucking normal to me. No, it's not. Really? It's really not. Okay. It's really not. I'm, I promise you, if it would have been the right environment, I would have. <laughs> yeah. But I'm already their opener. Yeah. I don't you're, go, you're and guest. I have a podcast. You're a guest. I posted on my Instagram for the people who followed me from it. Yeah. Hey, go check out my well, podcast. Well, if you guys came, thanks. Yeah. If you're a listener and you came to London shows, I love you. I had the best time. I love UK crowds because they're always one step ahead of American crowds. Do you think? Yeah, they they kind of like they expect my punchlines sooner than Americans, but they're not any less satisfied when they come. Oh, when which they is come. so great when they yeah, in both ways, man. Oh, nice man. But what I really wanted to talk about from London was we went to Abba Voyage. Tell us about that. Have you know what it is? Of course. So Abba Voyage is in London right now. It is an arena that they I think it was like multi billion dollar. I don't know. Maybe you should look. I, it's it's like. I should have looked it up before I said that. It's okay. It's an arena. Really expensive arena that they built just for this. And what it is, is an ABBA concert, but it's- Interactive. No. So it's holograms of ABBA 
from the ages that they were in like 1975. And it's a full concert put on by holograms with like a live band and like lights and everything. But it's like a concert with holograms. So there's holograms. <laughs> yeah. It was so fucking incredible. Was it like the most fun ever? It looked like they were really there on the stage. And I was on the ground in like general admission, like on the dance floor. And and, and the very beginning, it starts with like the like white and then their silhouettes rise from like beneath the stage. And everyone starts going nuts. And it lo- I was like, oh my God, technology is- Wait, dude, that's crazy. Dude, they were uh, right there in front of me. They were on the stage like 3D and they're like- and dum, dum, Do they, like, da, 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 da. Do they yeah. like look around? Yeah, they like perform a concert. So what I think- Do they what speak? It, yeah, they speak between songs. Like it's a concert, <laughs> dude. And they, I think what they did was they had like people with their same body types in motion sensor suits- do the whole thing. And then the hologram was built off of the motion sensor recording. And then they AI generated their faces. what their faces would have looked like with all of that. It's crazy. That's so awesome. And they did every single song, you know, in love, of course. And they would just like point and like the only part where it was like obvious that it was a hologram was like, we went on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. And so obviously it's not the same energy as like a Saturday night. Right. Or Friday night. And so some of the songs would be to applaud, but the applause wouldn't last as long as maybe they planned for. So like start clapping and then stop. And this would be the hologram. <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> we would just be like waiting for the hologram to be That's so weird. done receiving applause. But it was, I mean, I, what I said, the thing I was saying was that the Abba Voyage in London yeah. was like the Churchill War Rooms for basic white girls, where it was just like, you're like, the history. This is everything. The impact. Yeah. This is what I came to London I to see. I think that's an, I would love that. You would, I mean, I'm going back the next time I'm in London. I hope they bring it to New York because they would, if it goes anywhere else, they like deconstruct the arena and bring it to a new city. And they sell out every night. Sells out. I'm sure it night. does. And they do two shows on the weekends. And it was just euphoric. I mean, there were times where I was like, the future is scary. Because yeah. I fucking am looking at 3D people right now. <laughs> yeah. And even between songs, like the lights would go out. But you would see in the dark them like talking to each other between songs. Like, and so what should we do? This? And you would like see their shadows in the dark. That's how legit. I it thought was. this was like um, an interactive like thing. No, that would be cool too. But this was like just full hologram concert. It was sick. It was That's so cool. unreal, dude. Yeah. And it made me go. It made me go like, oh, what shit. did it make you go? It made me just, you know what? It actually made me go <laughs> home after they said, you have to leave. You mm-hmm. can't stay. Um, they made you go home. They made me go home. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was like, let me sleep here. <laughs> me- I was actually the only one dressed up. Like that's I'll, surprising. Most people were in regular outfits and I went there in a full, like I, like I was auditioning to be a hologram. That's I'm surprised what I like. that people didn't dress up that feel maybe Saturday night. Well, when we got there, there were some people, but when I like, was walking in, everyone in line was like in jeans and a t-shirt. And I was like fully in. Did you feel gear. awesome? I felt really embarrassed. And then everyone started high-fiving me and they were like, look at you girl, or look at you girl. <laughs> they didn't say it that way. Did how, they? Do they, how do you say, look at you girl in British? No, job well done. Job well done. Well job done. Job well done. Please mind the gap. Please mind the gap. Oh, oh. sometimes my voice doesn't come out. Anyway, it was really, truly amazing. The, really oh, tr- the only thing I was going to say was that they came out at the end. Uh, the old holograms come out at the end and I went, oh shit. Cause here I here I was getting this concert from these hot young yeah, people. Yeah, fucking and hell. The old, when the old version comes out, no, I'm I'm obviously joking. But, but they when old? they come out, it just makes you go, oh fuck! Like we get older. No, <laughs> I mean yeah, but it's crazy that I was used to these young people, and then like I was so used to the hall, holo- whatever. But what I was gonna say before I said they made me go home. Yeah. I was going to say, it made me go, oh, Em, appreciate your youth. Dress up to the nines every day. Absolutely. Because their holograms outfits were fucking awesome. And they were like our age. And I was like, I got to dress like nobody's watching. Uh, Like everyone's everyone's watching. watching. (laughs) (laughs) I do think we should always be like dressed up and dressed out. Yeah. Although like I don't have the energy to. No. But I love the idea. Like one time actually someone said, they're like, why don't you guys like dress up for your podcast? And I was like. We should. I know. The one episode where we did recently where we were in like sweatshirts getting ready to do Pilates, John was like, Em, 
Or in our bathing suits when everyone hated our outfits. No, that was fun, man. Come on. You're right, man. Believe in your body, man. I believe in my body, man. How long have you been in your apartment? Not that long, right? No, like under a year. You know what I wanted to remind people of? Because I just renewed my lease. Talk to me. You know, every three years in New York, your apartment, your landlord has to repaint your apartment if you ask for free. Did you know that? Did we know this? I didn't know that. Legally, your landlord has to free repaint your apartment every three years. And then I started to go because I renewed my lease. And so we will have been this will be going into our sixth year. Can you believe that? That's crazy. In my apartment, which like I still think I'm 21 in my head. So I'm like, me too. And I also feel like I just we just was at your party and I just at your move in party and I just had across the street. Yeah, I know. And now here we are. that word. Five years later. And so uh, I'm now realizing, because I have a carpet in my loft and I'm like, get the carpet out of here. Replace it. It's been up there for five years. So I called and it's like, yeah, okay, we'll take it out. We'll replace it. Because it's like, yeah, when I've been here long enough, you you guys got to maintain this place. I don't own it. Yeah, like- And I'm, my fridge magnet's not working that well. I'm like, get me a new fridge, girl. They should get you a new fridge, girl. And they're going to. And I'm calling about these things and I'm realizing, oh, when you stay somewhere in New York long enough, they legally have to- Well, like, you also like you. can always ask things. You can always ask things, but I wanted to remind some of our listeners, if you've been in a place for three years at least, That's good you to at know. least can get a new paint job for free and other stuff too. You got to ask for it. And on the subject of that, I wanted to say, I wanted to play a little game with you. Okay, um, that's I think me. we should do rapid fire and then go into each one after. Okay. But I want to do rapid fire, rapid fire round. Yes or no, worth it for New York City monthly expenses. Ready? <laughs> Ready. Yes or no, off the top okay. of your head. One, two, three. Delivering groceries. No. City bike membership. Yes. Storage unit. No. Wash and fold, pick up and drop off laundry. Yes. Uber one. No. Cleaning lady. No. Wow, we disagree <laughs> on a lot of those. We disagree on a lot of those. Can I also just say, me, this human, versus me last year, a lot different. Right, okay. Okay, let me ask you now. No, but think about your average girl. Yeah? So, like, think- I feel like the pretty average. average. Oh, yeah, so then those are all what you think average girl answers are? Yeah, are you ready for Bottom yours? right, you have to read tiny. Yeah, okay, do it to me. ready? Same ones. Delivery groceries. Yes. City bike membership. No. Storage unit. Yes. Wash and fold. Yes. Uber one. Yes. Cleaning lady. Yes. So yeah, you're yes. So you're not the average girl. Wait, then let me redo it. No, okay. that's okay. That's your truth. And speak yeah. your truth. You're not average. You're below. I mean, hey! I mean above. I guess I'll take away wash and fold pickup because I stopped doing that. So let me reverse and go, no. I just started doing it. So Yes. Okay, delivering groceries, you think it's not worth it? Definitely not. Why? Just go to Trader Joe's or get a Hulkin bag and wheel away. But here's the thing. First of all, groceries- You know, a lot of people do the wheelie thing. Are, you're talking to the queen of the cart. The queen of the wheels. I am. I cart my laundry to that laundromat once a week. So you could do that with your groceries, honey. No, the thing, here's my argument against, here's my argument for grocery okay, delivery. Okay, let's do okay? this. Really all you're paying for, if yeah. you find a service, right? A surrogate like laundry. A delivery fee- and probably tipping the delivery person, right? Well, and let's think about your average girl, okay? Kay. Your average girl or guy. Me. When you can go to the grocery store, it's probably really crowded. It's probably long lines. <laughs> You're probably hungry. But I'm pretty much the average person. I know. So, so when do you go to the grocery store? What time of day? Like, in New York City. In New York City, I'm gonna, I don't work in the office five days a week. It's very rare that people go in five days a week now. So when do you go to, what, when's your Monday grocery? mornings. And is it crowded? No. Okay. My <laughs> issue with the grocery store is, and maybe I just don't have it down pat, but like I get so distracted every time I go in there. Like you go hungry. I, and I always go hungry. Mistake. I know. Miss but steak. Missy I, steak. Uh, like when it's time for me to go to the grocery store. You have no more food. So you're hungry. Right. And also I'm like probably coming from the gym. Like I try and I never am home and go time to go to the grocery store. Uh, see, I'm I, hungry. I'm always time to go to the grocery store. I never have it baked in like that. It's baked for me. It's baked in. But even if I'm loaded. not that hungry, when I go to the grocery store, there's so much around me. 
How could I not you're going, want it you're, all? You're going to peruse. I'm going with a mission. No, Chloe. Even when I go with a mission to get one thing, there's been times I've been cooking at home and I go, fuck, I forgot. And Fairway's right, right down the block. Yeah. And I run out for the one thing. Yeah. And I get in there and I go, whoa, what if I want harvest snaps? Ooh, I do no. need Stonyfield whole milk. <gasps> I love those little Sargento snack bites. I, I, I get distracted. I will not get distracted in a grocery store. As a foodie and an AD. HD and plus QT plus <laughs> I do not get distracted in the grocery store I am in and I'm out I don't want to hang out uh, but but take take me to a CVS oh, and you are gone and I'm a gone don't get this girl to CVS she's gonna go in there she's gonna be gone you'll see her in two hours maybe she's walking through all the aisles she's going L'Oreal this she's going Olay that oh I need toothpaste oh I don't got paper towels like, I got a sock up on my paper towel since I got my hulking on me <laughs> oh and I forgot I also gotta get my lorazepam from the pharmacy that's you in your CVS <laughs> That's me in Fairway. I walk into Fairway, I go, I need Quaker Oats. That is oh me. That God. is me in Fairway. In CVS. CVS. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. So the reason I say deliver groceries is because I avoid distraction and I save time. It gets delivered. I don't have to carry it. It's amazing. Now tell me this. Next. Uber One. Uber One, I think, is- Never not, heard of it. I think it's nine ninety nine a month. Um, $9.99? Mm-hmm. And it cuts off the delivery Surge. fee of all of your- um, Uber oh, Eats orders. I don't do Uber Eats. Postmates? No. You just don't order seamless. food? Seamless. Seamless. Tell me why you do always seamless. always been a seamless girl. Hmm, why? I love room service. And I feel like it gets to me the quickest. Uber Eats is pretty quick, man. I don't do Uber Eats. You know I what's embarrassing? I don't like to shit where I eat. I don't like to... I take a car ride in the Uber. I get my food from Seamless. Mm. I get my Postmates... I don't even use Postmates. You don't like to dip and dash? And I don't dip and dash. I stay in one lane like I should. Yeah. Sometimes Uber Eats will be like, congratulations, you've had solid high 16 times in the past two days. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time for that. I don't. You're in their top 1% of users. It's like, and? Yeah. And so give me something for free then because yeah. I'm going to order it again tomorrow. Like, Spend $55 and you'll get $1 off. Yeah, it's like, so I know. Those you- are the deals. And then City Bike membership, waste, sweaty. Betty, waste. Wrong. I like to fight you on that one. I like to fight you. <laughs> and I'll fight you now. City bike membership. If you pay for city bike membership, then you can take your city bike anywhere you want for free. Oh, you mean the heavy piece of machinery that all the docks are full wherever you want to go because everyone else is thinking the same damn Not thing? Not always. Not always. You know how many times I've been somewhere and someone meets me on a city bike to go, sorry, I had to go to a different dock. It was full. Actually, no shit, because where we are is cool and everyone's thinking what you're thinking. <laughs> Every, I actually met someone at dinner last week and I was circling them for like an hour. And then I, I drove my bike like up up to the East Village over to the East Village and the, all these guys were on and they were like, no luck that way, man. And I was like, fuck. And then I, start, I sh- booked ass the other way and they were like, nah, man, not this way. It was like I was playing a video game where they're like, no, you can't come here. Yeah. Then I was like, I'll go this way. And they're like, not on my watch. Yeah, see, that's a hassle and I'm sweating. I'm late. I live for and the And the thrill. bike is so heavy. Yeah, but I don't lift it up often. But no, when you ride, like ever since I- Oh, like now your have, own bike? No, I didn't buy it. It was a hand-me-down bike. I have this bike and okay. it's so much lighter. Well, I don't know if I would buy a bike. That's the thing. It's like, I get it. I don't know if I would buy a bike. But once I started riding my bike. Yeah, your bike like is light as a feather. so light. And I'm like, oh my God, city bike makes me sweat because I'm yeah. riding so, a truck. Let me say a few Manually things. Manually with a truck. I have a few things to say. What? People have really strong opinions about bikers in New York. Mm-hmm. You, you either are them or, or you, you fucking hate them, them or, or you, you hate, hate them. them. And you, everywhere you're going, Fear there's someone them. like, what? get off, watch yeah. yourself. And you're like, fuck off if you're walking. But if you're on a bike, I think you're always right. The freedom on yeah. a bike. Fuck you. Of uh, being you. able to insult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Soldier boy, tell him. I love biking. But I have, before the wedding, I'm like, I'm not going to bike. If you I don't want to die or something? I don't want to get fall or get cut up or get a bruise. Yeah, I'll we'll always wear a helmet. I start, of course, I started scratching my leg in London. It was itchy and I scratched it so hard I got a scrap. Yeah, I have one too on the back of my leg. Just from scratching an itch? I did it myself. Like so hard I, I got angry. I did this myself. What? This itch? Oh God. Yeah, yeah. we gotta be careful. It's like kind of cracky of me to like itch like, my face. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> I'm bleeding. Anyway. Yeah, I made myself bleed. Okay, the next one. We storage are- unit. Storage unit. No. 
Unless you need it. Well, let me just say. You love yours. Mine's fifty five zero dollars a month. And they make smaller ones. $50 a month. So a little extension of your rent. And all my bullshit is in there. Yeah. Stuff where I'm like, I don't want to. It like clutters my apartment. And guess I'm so ready to pack up all the winter clothes and put I in know, there. I can't wait. Can I put mine in yours? Uh, I already put something of yours in there. So what? A box I took from yours. That's lady and shitty stuff. Yeah. I don't think I'll have room for your winter clothes. I'm sorry. Oh. I, I, I got a fucking groomonsta with a million and ten sweaters. A groomonsta. I'm going to take John's clothes. I am going to throw them, stuff them into bags and throw them in the unit and go get out of my apartment. I can't taking, find anything in my closet. Yeah, he takes too much I'm room. I'm pulling, I'm shoving shit to the side so I can find a shirt. It's just, oh, it's The stressed. man I'm marrying, man. I love him so much. <laughs> Wash and fold pickup. I'm down for that. I'm not. I am now doing all my laundry because it never smells good. Uh, it's always crispy. It smells better. They and fried I like it, it crispy. in the dryer. They fried my delicates in the dryer. You're saying I like. I prefer it crispy. Okay. But I will tell you this: I do schlep my Hulkin bag filled to the brim with laundry across town to take it to Oliver's because he has it in unit. In unit, yeah. So in I, unit's I'm amazing. kind of one day, man. Uber one, we did a cleaning lady. So. I'm a cleaning lady girl. Mm -hmm. I've recommended my cleaning lady to everyone in the world. Mm -hmm. And you, you as well? Mm -hmm. Are you using Nancy using or Nancy. Elizabeth? Nancy. Nancy. Um, love Nancy. Love Nancy. And you know what? I, in a studio, it's not worth it for me. Mm -hmm. I get that. It's too small. I get that. But anywhere else. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, is there another one or I have I some. have plenty more. You go, you go. Uh, for in the city. I'm going to give you yes or no oh, oh. certain things in the city. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me think of some. Oh, well, I thought you had Got it. Flip-flops. No. <laughs> okay, wait, that's We've it. We already talked about that, right? Oh, okay. that's it? No, I was trying to think of more. Oh. Well, you think about it. Okay. We'll come back, we'll come back to you. Um, bear, bear legs on the subway. Shorts on the subway. Yeah. Like, no. what are you going to do? Not set. I sit on the toilet though, which is weird. You sit on public toilets everywhere we go and it grosses me out, <laughs> all man. I, all I want to do is go sit on a fucking toilet. No, like whenever we're peeing in the bathroom together, you will bare ass it on a do public you feel toilet. Better? I can't believe it. Do you feel better that I paved the way so then my bare ass has just fixed it and then you can go on top? <laughs> That's not how it works. Because I feel like kind of. You know, I think of you though every time I bare ass it. Because sometimes I'm in public and I go, oh. I hope everyone thinks of me when they bare ass it. Yeah, like if I'm at Equinox, I'm like, like, uh, it's probably fine, right? I'm, yeah. I'm about to sweat it up anyway <laughs> with the use keeping the back of my thighs clean. But the reason why I don't like to do it is because I remember in high school health class. They told you not to? They said you could get crabs from a toilet seat. And ever since then, I'm like, I don't want to get crabs. I haven't gotten Although it. Lord knows there's no hair down there anyway. Yeah. How would I get crabs? Where are the crabs going to, what are the crabs going to sleep in? My skin? <laughs> what are they going to cling on to? Not, not me. Wait, crabs are not like, crabs are um like lice. Like crusty, crusty <laughs> crab. Crabs are lice. I don't know. Because they're not crabs like little are. crabs. Ever since I left high school, all my knowledge has started to deplete. Yeah, I but no remember. one who has crabs. Uh, Sorry. People have crabs, right? But they don't call them crabs. They're not like little. What's it called? The not clap? Cucarachas. No, that's chlamydia. <laughs> I would love little crabs with caracha. I think if I got a little song crabs. and dance, like, hey, good job, you guys. Dude. <laughs> tip them. Mariachi with some exfoliating gel that European wax center always tries to sell me on. Back off, babe. I'm not buying the exfoliating cream. Listen, serum. What? <laughs> crabs are lice for your voo voo. <laughs> for you, hoo ha. Is that true? I don't know if I believe it. Look what? it up. They're called crab louse. Crab oh, louse. Because the singular of lice is louse. They're called pubic lice, commonly called crabs, or tiny insects found in your genital genital area. They are different types of louse from head lice and body louse, measuring body louse. one sixteenth inch or less. Jeez. Pubic lice receive their nickname because their bodies resemble tiny crabs. Cool. Have you ever had a CD? La cucaracha. I would had, love it if there were some dancing one? crabs on my poos. An STD? Yeah. Ever? No, I have HPV, but we all do. So do I. Okay. <laughs> I remember when, because they can't test you for that, but they I can. had one of those like. Can't they? HPV? No. They can just check on you, but they can't test you for it. And they That's say you the have it? No. So I had one of those like, um, um, there's a thing on your thing. 
You know, when you get like a... <laughs> oh, an abnormal pap smear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, no, there's like a word for it. It's like you have... A, not polyp. It's like a... It's an abnormal pap smear. Yeah. It's like a cervical... um something and they're like you got now you got to come every six months and so it's like oh, all right God. take some folic acid they just have to make sure you don't uh get cancer but um i got gardasil shot so did i but like everyone has hpv so why are we even testing for it anymore i don't think they why do why are we even talking you just about say it they don't test it? i meant to say why are we even talking about okay it? i don't even we don't even need to, to keep that our std talking if you want yeah why you want me to ask you if you've had one no not really yeah it was kind of bold of you to ask me if i've ever had one and expose me. Like, what if I had? I probably have. Yeah, yeah, okay. I haven't. Ever? Ever. I wanted to talk about, so I did this comedy festival a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. This like first annual female comedy festival called Knockouts. Yeah. And they had me host one of their shows at Stand Up New York, which is a comedy club. Uh-huh. And first of all, it was an all-female audience, which I never realized how much of a wet dream that would be. Yeah, like, that's fucking awesome. An audience of entirely women. I mean, I was ripping. Like every yeah. joke I say makes sense because you they all are me. I've never experienced yeah. that as a woman, like being in a comedy room and like not, I mean, I guess the red room at the red room, my audience is very like gay, Wait, girls and gays. Wait, that's so awesome. It was amazing. It was like all women. And uh, there was this group of girls and I like jokingly picked on them. Yeah. And then I was like, how do you guys know each other? And then they were like, oh, it's hard to explain. And I was like, well, what? Like I have time. Yeah. Turns out this group of girls, there was a group of 40 of them at this show. They met through this thing called Girls Who Meet. They were all meeting for the first time. It's like an Wait, there was 40 of them? Yeah. In the crowd? The whole room was like 200. It was like a big show. Okay. I was like- This one section- Was was Girls Who Meet? All these girls who had met for the first time that night on this thing called Girls Who Meet. And it's like for girls looking to find friends as an adult in the city. I was so- I love it. I was so moved. I am so happy. I was so happy. I was like, I can't wait to tell Chloe about this because I feel like we've gotten questions of like, how, how do you do make you friends people? in the city? How do you meet people? We've always been like, hang out at places. But I don't know if it's any good or if any of those girls well, stayed they in touch. Well, came to see a comedy show and that's very fun. Well, I guess it's the thing that girls who meet is probably like they take, like there's like events that they do. They should and come like, to Liddy and Shitty. We should do a Liddy and Shitty ex-girls who meet thing. Cause I was like, that's so brilliant. Like you have these events with a big group of people. So it's not that much pressure of like six of us. You can still like go to who you would want to yeah, chat with who you like mingle. Like it's like a college welcome week kind of a thing. And it's in a grown up sorority. Yeah. It's grown up sorority. And it made me so happy. And I was like, will you guys like call me? Can I come? Yeah. And then I kept joking about how they made Girls Who Meet Plus, where it's like, and maybe you're gay and we can go home and fuck. That's what I thought at first. And then I was like, not everyone's trying to fuck. But Girls Who Meet does sound like Girls Who Meet. Yeah. It's like, I need to meet them. Wink, wink. You know what I was thinking? But just do plus. Girls Who Meet Plus. plus. Girls Who Meet Plus. Girls Who Meet Plus Puss. Plus Puss. Yeah. I would love to um, host like a Lydian Chitty like bowling night or Lydian Chitty at the bar and we can have all the girls who meet. Girls can come meet. That does sound fun. Right? We should do that. Totally. I'll keep going. I'm born to tell you. Okay. Have you ever, I've been watching so much. I came home from London and just vegged out. I love a veg day after you get home from a trip. We've been watching so much TV and movies and we saw something last night. Are you watching that show Three Body Problem? On no, Netflix? I've never heard of it. Ooh, girl, is it confusing. I am having a tap job right every- there. I cannot watch that <laughs> show. <laughs> I cannot. If I don't, if I have to ask a question, you don't want to watch with me. Yeah. And I won't watch yeah. it. This is the question of all question asking shows. It's a sci-fi show. That's like legit fucking science. I can't be part of it. It's physics, man. It's not even jokes. It's not even a joke. It's a joke. It's, it's not a joke. It is a serious ass science show. It's not for me. Loving it, but you better believe I've made John pause it and I go, hold on, <laughs> hold on. And I will say half the time he's answering me with like, I don't know yet either. Yeah. That's why we're going to find yeah. out. And I'm like, okay, I just want to make sure, but it is. And I can't pull a fast one on you. Can't. But it's it's really good because like if you can keep up and even still I don't fully get all I don't fully get it yeah. all, but you can know enough to get it and it's really interesting. What they did in a scene yesterday, which is something I feel like I've seen in movies. Is all it the time. documentary? No, it's a fiction. Fiction, it's really fiction. good. It's fiction. I think it's the fiction, same creators. Fake. Fiction, fake. Fiction, fake. Fiction, fiction fake. Non-fake. Non-real. 
<laughs> no, nonfiction is real. I know. Oh, so, <laughs> not fake, not fake. Yeah. Fiction, fake, fiction, fake. Do you guys know that one, right? No. Okay. I made that up. Just now? Right here. Mm hmm So we saw something. It's, it's a really good show. I recommend it. Um, I have to finish it tonight. <gasps> I can't wait. John, this morning we were walking to the train together and, and he was like, and you saw the part where the blah, blah, blah. And I went, oh, no, because I fell asleep. Oh. I got railed so good. It's like, I passed out. <laughs> Ooh. You don't have to brag. Mm. Sorry. In the show, there's this scene and I feel like I see this all the time in movies and I've never thought about it until watching it where the girl has to do some, a really big, important task. Yeah. And she goes, I need a drink. And the guy gives her like a whiskey or a flask. Yeah. And she sips it and she goes. <sighs> takes a big drink and gets to work. And I'm like. Never. Never in my life. Never. Would I take a big swig and get, get to, to work? work? That actually makes me think of a De <laughs> like Delaney Rowe like joke. Yeah. Like of like, like girl. Yeah. that Yeah. Of like a girl in a movie who's like, like fuck it. Let's get out of here. Let's fucking go. Yeah. <sighs> like it I was. No. One, if I'm working and you give me a sip of, I mean anything, yeah. I mean a sip of the lightest beer you have, I yeah. go, I push the keyboard away and I go, should we just should we spill just, our biggest secret? Should we just get a baggie? <laughs> I have never, ever, ever, alcohol has never make me work no. harder, I, made I me also, smarter. Like I also am, am the type of person that's never, and I think you might be different on this end. I've never had a long day at work and been like, Ooh, I need a glass of wine. Never in my whole life have I wanted to unwind with a glass of wine after a hard day. Oh, disagree. I want to get in the bed and rot and swipe. I want my TVs all on. I want my dark. I don't want a glass of wine. No, dude, I'm off I, the rotting and swiping. Oh, I'm on it. Oh, you're off it. I'm on it. We got to stop rotting and swiping. No, I think it's very healthy to rot and swipe. Why? You know... I do. I think we we deserve rot days. Rot days, but swiping? Well, it depends. What, how did you interpret that? Swiping on Tinder. Swiping on No, Raya. no, scrolling. Scrolling. <laughs> well, what if I was swiping on... We have to try, you guys. It's not good. We have <laughs> to try. As we like shove clips down people's throats. But, Share our clips. Share no, our, but here's what I want. I, I love rotting. I love swiping. I love scrolling because... I'm addicted. I know, but you know what? It makes- It's the truth, Em. I know, it's not great. My, my screen time is cuckoo Karachi. I'm just telling you, it Tell me makes what your screen time is. A lot better than yours, I bet. You want to check? Not really, because guess what my job is? Nine to five. Being Scrolling on, on Instagram. I will say- Golly, it's like no one listens to me anymore. No, but we should treat it like going on a diet. Like we, we I don't think we discipline ourselves enough. And like I've seen people with well, time I said limits. timers. Yeah, no one listens to those. Okay. You have to actually Ignore want for to. Infinity. It's kind of like with a diet when you like get a get a meal service and you're still going to order semen. Like you have to want to make the change from the inside. The thing that I think is the saddest about scrolling is it makes real life so much less interesting. Because our phones are so much more interesting and we have to let real physical life be interesting. Yes. Remain interesting. I agree. But do this preach at a live show and not here because I want everyone to watch this. I want everyone to listen to this. But listen, they could be watching and listening to this while they're like, while they're doing something or maybe they're sitting and maybe this is their, you know. Rot. Rotting. And, so and I don't think podcast, podcast is long form. I'm talking about like quick. the best sushi I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. Three things you need to look at this video of, you know, yeah. like scroll and scroll and scroll and swipe and nothing fucking fills the void. Oh my God. Long form only, you guys. Otherwise, I want you to pay attention this week, okay? <laughs> I I'm like, Emily, you're no, no fun. No, because I've caught myself and I, I like, sometimes it'll be me and John in, in our living room and I'm like, the fuck are we doing? I know. Sitting here looking at bricks. I don't do that when I'm with my friends often. 
No, but I'm good with my phone with my friends. I know, but it it's not like, about we're that. We're not on our phones together. But then ever. when you're alone, you should be alone with your thoughts and like you know what's so funny actually that you say that. When I got home last time, it was the first time I was alone because I slept at Ollie's the past week, pretty much. Yeah, I got home. I got home at like let's say like five o'clock. From five thirty to nine forty-five, I was on Facetime with a different person. That's fun. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was talking to your friends. It is was good. fun. It was great. Yeah, but I was like, why don't I just be? And I actually put picked up my book, and then I was like, I kind of want to just mindlessly scroll, exist, oh. and scroll. No, man. But I it's am going to start a new book called Romantic Comedy. What's that all about? It's about a a world it's SNL that um the writer like falls in love with the host. Mm-hmm. And it's by one of my favorite authors. Chloe Richman? No, I didn't write it. Oh, I thought you said you're writing a new book <laughs> called Romantic Comedy. I'm not writing about SNL. And that's what I thought this was. Sorry. It's a real book? Yeah, it's real. It's like has amazing it. reviews. I forget her name right now, obviously. Oh. But it's it's like in a world and like the writers, they fall in love with the host. He, he comes for the week. Cool. Sexual thing. I love a sexual book. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little corny but i love a good sex same book. but i'm I'm encouraging you chloe be alone you'd be so amazed what 10 minutes alone without like picking up your phone what do you would do really Fucking does you it, you don't have to do anything you just have to be able to go i don't need it i don't need to look at it where does your mind go but when you you're don't not live alone for, yeah i do when john's at snl I so what alone. do you do in that moment like do your hair <laughs> <laughs> no or like like take a shower I've gone for a walk or no i just sit or like i clean or Oh, like I do those things too. No, but I've I've like sat or I'll do a puzzle. I live my life like a regular puzzle. person. No, or like when no. I'm on the train. When you're on the train, no headphones, no phone. I don't do headphones anymore. Phone in pocket. I don't do headphones. Phone in pocket. Phone in pocket. I don't do headphones anymore. You've been on the train, phone in pocket, headphones off. Yeah, because you have no service, honey. Doesn't matter. You could have music playing. You no, could be looking at photos. I'm not music. Playing a game. No, I'm not. I'm not a headphones on my walking anymore on my commute because it's too. St- it's too much stimulation. Yeah. Well, especially the block you live on. It's like. Yeah. It's too much. I'm honestly exhausted. Thinking about it. Yeah. But before yeah. bed, before bed. And I want to try to do this. I talked to Allie for like 35 minutes. That's good. Yeah. Read a book, lay in bed, look at the ceiling. Mm. I'm just saying, you guys, when you no longer have boredom, life actually gets boring. You have to have some boredom <laughs> without scrolling to satiate it because yeah. otherwise your life is so monotonous and the time flies and you go, how do I get anything done? Oh, maybe if I took away the two and a half hours I spend scrolling every day, yeah, maybe then I'd get something done. I'm like really happy in life with scrolling included. I know you really are. I'm not. Oh, but no, but I mean, like, I'm not enticed by it. Like, I don't, I like, can't do it. You don't have to. I know. Okay. Okay. (laughs) I will. Like, I love my little life of scrolling. I know. I love being present too. Yeah. You're, I mean, you're good at that and you're good at like moving around, going places. But I know what you mean. Um, We're fucked. Nope. It's just. And I'm leading it. You're and you're leading charge. it the other way. Yeah, I'm trying to say like the way you treat a diet of like, oh God, I have to stop doing that. I have to take diet it seriously. Culture. Out. No. Treat your your health and mental health. <laughs> you guys. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is actually here, I like yeah. just woke up now for this episode. <laughs> Breaking <laughs> news. Because you're so numb from scrolling, man. No, man. I just I'm really tired, but man, is this exciting. Breaking news. Breaking news. You have an armpit stain. No. But that's not the breaking I'm news. Gray. Listen, you guys, you know Big Famous, our deli. Tell them. Em. We I go today. We go, Chloe and I did some stuff today and I was like, I'm going to go to Big Famous. She was taking her dog upstairs. I go to Big Famous to get a bar, get a snack. And the guy goes, no, 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 no. Like on the door. And he has a ladder in front of the door. He goes, no, no, no we're closed. He's went, blocking M. He's, he's blo- like, no M's here. He's blocking me. He's like, you can't come in. We're like, I go, what? It's two in the afternoon. Why can't I come in? It's always open. It's always open. So, so, I, go, I, go, so I, go to the, I go, all right, I'll go to Starbucks. But that's odd. Big Famous is closed. Noted. Noted. We come home after our little errand. Now I'm hungry. Now Chloe's hungry. She goes, let's run into Big Famous. Let's get a little snack. Let's get a little snack. I'm really hungry. It, there's a sign on the door that says closed. Until further notice. Because it has not passed health, mental, and, and mental. No. 
Uh, not past health and mental health. No, it was like hygiene and mental health. No, health and mental yeah. hygiene. Wait, but what is mental hygiene? Dude? I don't know. Test of New York City. Like the health department shut it down because it didn't pass health and mental hygiene standards. But like, what is they doing mental hygiene? Like, what is mental hygiene? Not scrolling? Yeah, they go, <laughs> you're scrolling too much and big famous. Too many people and they were on TikTok. <laughs> And they said, we got to shut it down. Wait, so is it going to be- while you're making people's food and that's why it's getting poisoned. Shut it down. Do you think shut they really down. shut down? I mean, it said until further notice. Can we and look up like, what this mental hygiene means? Yeah, look it up. It does just make me go though. How many other fucking places are like just barely passing health standards? I don't really care. Yeah. I sit on the toilet. I'll still eat there. But then it's like, I'm such a little fucking cunt in other places. Like, I'll be like, we went to a wedding. You know how, oh, this might be a touchy subject because you're getting married. Okay. I went to like a bat mitzvah. It was a wedding. And they had like food there. And like, Ollie was like, do you want this food? And I was like, no, like, I don't really like, like wedding food. Like as if I'm above wedding food or as if I'm above catering food. Well, you have a thing with food. You think. Yeah, I was like, I don't want that. And then it's like, I sit my bare ass on the toilet seat of like the subway station. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, who do you think you are? I don't like wedding food either. That's why we're not doing seated dinner. We're doing like food stations. So no offense taken. Don't worry, Chloe. Thanks, Sam. Mental hygiene. What? I'm what confused. Is it? it says the term. <laughs> oh, it says the term mental hygiene refers to daily activities that support and maintain mental health. Public health guideline tells us that we need to do small tasks daily to maintain our physical and dental hygiene, dental? like showering and brushing our teeth. We are extending the same concept to mental health. So if you don't do those little tasks, your they mental- shut down your deli. <laughs> if you don't brush your teeth they, sh- they will shut you down if you don't brush your teeth and your brain they shut down your deli man if you're not really take, if you're not in therapy <laughs> you can't have a deli your mental health is not up to go your literal deli license will be taken will be closed until further notice until, until you, you figure out brushing. what's going on with you Check in with you. Brush your brain. <laughs> That's crazy. When was the last time you cleaned your ears? Oh, I go every six months. Oh, f- really? I was thinking like a Q-tip. No. <laughs> no, you know this about me. You don't use a Q-tip? No, I do. <laughs> I, I do, but I also... Oh, time to go? It's time to go. That's um, good, because this was going nowhere. I, but I want to tell you this one thing I really quick. I do use Q-tip, but I get my <laughs> Because my ears get clogged, so I get them professionally cleaned. I bet the jelly man wasn't cleaning his ears <laughs> using a Q-tip. The last thing I'll say before we go is that I sent you this thing, okay. this restaurant that is closed today, but I really want to go with you. And listeners, maybe you can go before we do. But I saw that it's the new, this new noodle restaurant in the East Village. A noodle that's popular in Japan has just arrived in Manhattan. Okibo. Okiboru House of Udon opened in the East Village, specializing in flat, wide udon. Fuck yeah, that's what they call me in the noodle. streets. Flat, flat and wide, wide udon. Flat and wide. Look at that fucking noodle, man. Yeah. I mean, if we've ever loved a noodle, it looks like you, that. You, we gotta try it. All right, we will. We'll be trying it. We'll be reporting back. Thanks, guys, for listening. Come to our live show. We'll see you soon. Love you guys. Love you, Chloe. Love you, Em. Thanks for listening to Liddy and Shitty in the Big Bad City. Whether you were just cleaning your apartment, slaying at the gym, or strutting on these city streets, we're always grateful for your ears. Be sure to follow or subscribe, tell a friend, and hey, hey, uh, leave a review. Lilas! What? Love you like a sister. Oh, cute. Lilas! Liddy and Shitty in the Big Bad City. Liddy and Shitty in the Big Bad City. Cheating.